we're coming out to dig worms because we're about to go fishing. Me and Kay and Dad and Nick and Austin is still turkey hunting or else he would go with us. But we're going to go fishing and see what we can catch. I haven't got to go fishing in a long time, so I'm pretty excited. There's a very good chance that we're going to catch nothing. <laughs> Katie says there's a good chance we're going to catch nothing. But, but we don't know if we don't try. Yeah, we don't know if we don't try, and it'll be fun anyway. Nice day out today. Hey, don't be mean to each other just because you see worms that I've got. These ain't for you. The chickens want the worms. They're like, give me the worms. I'm wanting some biggins, and there are some biggins in here. It's kind of gross, but hey. Well, I mean, this beats paying for them. True. All right, and then I've got this other pole for course, whichever one she wants to fish with. Okay, well then I've two. got two. Cause I Just like... take them, take them and I'll put, I've got three that I'm taking. Then she'll have, we'll all have enough poles. I'm gonna take this one too. I don't know what I'm gonna tie on. I wish I had some of them trout magnets. Who's got some they might let me borrow? I've I got, got some. I've got some too. I put my boots on. Rubber boots. You video? Are you ready? Corey's eating cheese behind the camera. Are you yeah. videoing yourself eating cheese? No, I'm videoing you watching me oh. eat cheese. <laughs> smile for the camera, Nick. I smiled. You can't catch it. Um, I can. No, you can't. All I gotta do is this. <laughs> no. See, I've got worms. I put these worms up here. Yeah, without a glove, your arm would be shredded cheese. No. But them worms. <clears throat> if it lands on my arm, it will bust its talons. I don't think so, Dad. Well, I guess we're gonna, me and you will go in your truck, Corey and Dad will go in. See you there. See you there. So far, it looks like we got it all to ourselves. said we got here first this is our creek you have to leave no yeah dad are you excited for this fishing adventure yeah i like to fish i said i guess i better get the worms yeah get them worms so this is where katie and dad have been fishing the last couple nights and i have been down here but it's been a long time Love, I'm going for a carp as long as my leg on this tiny pole. <laughs> All right. This is a nice place because it only takes five or ten minutes to get here, and so especially after work for Dad. That is a big dog. It's a really pretty place down in here. I will say I think it's grown up a lot since I've been here because I don't remember it being this grown up. We're gonna go down here first because it's kind of big and open. It'll be easy for me to cast since I'm not very experienced. Be careful, watch that step there. Wow, this is a pretty little place right here. All right, Nick, what you fishing with? What am I fishing with? I'm yeah. fishing with a little gulp minnow. Gulp minnow? Yeah, I'll show it to you. Using this fire tiger color cool because the water's off color Ooh, yeah this stick out good so it'd stick out i got it katie did get hers out of the tree which is nice it's a trick nick taught me the trick to get it out it's pretty quick moving right there it is pretty quick moving it's kind of hard to tell but it's moving What are you gonna put on, Dad? I'm gonna put one of these little two inch swim baits on, see if anything about it. Little swim baits? Do those have a weird smell? Uh -huh. What do they smell like? Ew, <laughs> it smells stinky.
pretty good pole. I like that pole a lot. Just a feel of life. Put me on a worm and see if I can get any fishies. This right here might be the very thing they want. Well, it probably is. So it's like, remember, like I said before, this is something Nick had to teach me. Sometimes when you're fishing and you don't want it to scrape the bottom, it's tempting to hold your pole up here. But if your pole is all the way up here and you get a bite, there's nowhere to go when you set that hook. You can do that, but it's not. So if your pole is kind of down in the middle, you've got somewhere to go when you set that hook. That's what I think that makes when sense. I very first started fishing, I missed bites because of that. Because I had my pole too high in the air and I couldn't get a hook set. See, it's easy to get hung and think you've got a fish. I got getting hung on a tree there before. Anytime you think you've got a, I mean, could possibly be a fish, fish at the hook anyway. That's what I do, because you'll miss fish like that if you don't. But now, if he goes back through there and he feels it in the same place, he'll know that what he was experiencing was a hang up and not fish, huh? See, this is See a little bit. You don't want no slack in your line, keep it tight. So that way if something does bite it, you can feed it. If you got a bunch of slack in your line, you can feed it. They run off with your worm and then you'll be sad you when the fish. The hook speed it out for you every year. Later. Yeah. But with a worm too, you kind of just can let it float down the current. You ain't trying to fish it like a swim bait or something that has to be reeled. It to be it's just kind of floating just on down through there. Enough to keep slack or keep your line tight. Yeah, and, and make it keep falling where you want it to go. But there are some super dumb fish that don't care and they'll bite it anyway, even if it looks suspect. I'm a dork fish. Yeah. Did something bite it? Yep. I guarantee you there's a 50 pound carp in here somewhere. I remember that one we seen as big as our leg? He wasn't 50. Okay, no, but he was. <laughs> Nick says he wasn't 50. Pounds. Nick's like, now you're telling tall fish stories. I've like, been a little brim, but I got banked on the twine. Sometimes you'll feel like it feels like a boom boom. <laughs> the only reason I'm holding my pole up is I don't have to see the line. Bump, bump, it's a fish. Bump, bump, it's a fish. Is it going to be a song? Bump, bump, it's a fish. Bump, bump, it's a fish. Bump, bump, it's a fish. Sarah, Corey, how you doing? Dish. Okay, I can't do it as good as you can. That's all right. Sometimes, though, Corey, it won't be a bump, bump. It'll feel like a Mack truck run off with your line. Yeah. The yeah. A trout will run by and just jerk it and go with it. So I'll tell you something else that'll help you. When you when you sling that thing, don't let go of your line until it's on the forward move. That was better. That's not bad at all, really. Nick's throwing a lure that Corey got him for Christmas. Let's see what you got. It's a Panther Martin. It looks nice. It is nice. I like it. Cast it out here and reel it back in. What you think, Corey? Is it hung? I don't know. I felt something. <laughs> I caught a stick, guys. Look. Look what I caught. You did. You caught a stick. I caught a stick, Dad. I know it does. I think we're gonna do a few more casts here and then we're gonna go on up to the next spot. We had like one or two bites here and that was really it. I think this place is really fished a lot because it's easy to get to, but it was nice of everyone to 
be willing to come down and fish here for me just kind of learning how to cast because i really don't know know how to do it that well yet You having fun? I am. I brought my sunglasses because when I put them on, I can see quite a ways down into the water. Plus, it helps with the bugs. I forgot my sunglasses. Dad offered me his, but I left them in the truck. Didn't have mine. No, 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 no. I'm fine. I don't need ever them. forget your sunglasses I when you're fishing. Sunglasses unless I'm on the lake or in the creek. I don't wear them. Be like me the other day. I stepped on my sunglasses and broke them in half. That's never a fun thing. To <laughs> I know. I was like, couldn't believe it. My good big meat paws. My big meat feet, like what we said, all of us, and I broke them. Half of fishing is reading the water. It's coming up to a place that you are thinking that yeah. you're going to fish and decide where you think you should cast, where you think the fish are. Uh, sometimes you'll scare the fish, and you'll be thinking about maybe don't wear a bright color, maybe be careful about how you approach the fish. But half of it is trying to figure out where are the fish at and uh, how you're going to present the bait to them in a way that looks natural. So This really was a pretty place, though. I love how the path has just kind of grown up in here. It's cool. I always have a really good time fishing, even though I never really catch anything. Because I don't really know what I'm doing. I do have a really good time. It's just so nice to get to be outside. And the weather's really nice today. It's really fun. And even if we don't catch anything, uh, we like to bring you along and just show you the pretty place where we get to live. We're fortunate to get to live here. All right, we're going to go back over here to this little hole and see if we can't catch anything. That was a super close call. It was. I almost made the same mistake twice. This is just a hard hole to fish yeah, right here. This is what's hard, is trying to pull it back up through that stuff. Ooh, that's tricky. You're doing pretty good so far. Dad and Nick are fishing down there, but there's not really room for anyone else to stand, so we're gonna go on to the little bridge. Katie said she's gonna go back to what she caught fish on before the last time she was here. What I caught that carp on. What is this little thing called? It's just a little tube jig. You just wouldn't think a carp would bite this. That's not what carp usually bite. This looks like pretty risky business, bud. Just look how pretty this place is, though. I mean, it's, it's like a jungle in here, but it's just beautiful. Y'all catch anything? You did! No, you didn't. Yeah. Don't lie to me. What did you catch? I didn't catch them. Did Dad catch them? Yeah, he caught some. What did you catch, catch Daddy? Little brim. Oh man, I wish I got it on what video. It? It switched over to a little micro hook on there. Let me see. And he swallowed it. Daddy bite cake? No. I, I Actually, yes, I did have one little bite over here. I hunted pretty decent one out there, didn't I? Yeah, that was a few. Yeah, that was a few. Like a trout or something? Oh, that's pretty what bad. Is it's full of eggs. Oh. So the carp come from there a couple days ago that Dad and Katie caught. Oh my gosh. 
there was another carp. He just side swiped. That's all his white belly. He just side swiped my thing. Uh, whatever it was, was every bit of 12 or 13 inches long. He's a dang good size. My gosh. It had old dirty looking. Oh, my God. He's trying to. Stick. Katie, you caught a stick. Good I job. You and her tied. <laughs> yeah. We both got sticks. I think if we put that in the pan with some butter, it would taste good. No one's going to laugh at that. That was a good joke. It was funny. I'm just in fish mode. Can't fool with Katie when she's in fish mode. Oh, my gosh. I want that so bad. I never wanted anything else. I want that fish. Well, did you see what I was doing? Mm -hmm. Can you do that? I tried. All right, get right there so I did. Oh did man, feel it? I did. I felt it. Do, 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 do. Yeah, I felt it, it and I seen it. Well, that's what it feels like. I felt it and I seen it. I didn't see it, but I seen it. Seen oh it. man. He got my worm. I seen the line going to death today. I felt it and I seen it. If I had been a little bit quicker, well, I, I might have got it. So I had you kind of. No, you're fine. I'm gonna catch fish this time. Are you go? <laughs> Come here, little baby. Good job. No? What is that? That's a dang. What is that? What is it? Let me see. What is that? That is something that me and Nick caught in the culvert down at our house, and we did, he didn't know what it was either. Neither one of us knew, but it had that red stripe on it. That's it's got it. It's got a stripe there, there, on its dorsal fin. I think he's caught one here, too. Oh, that's exciting. I'm so happy. I caught it into fish. Hey, high five. That's remember exciting. That, remember that funny little fish that you caught with the red stripe on it? We didn't know what it was. It's one of them. Wow. Look at the little baby. The you want him? Yeah. He's wanting, to, he's wanting to get loose, but you could do that with him. Huh? But he's hard to hang out. You, can't you just hold on to him. It's okay. All right. What is that? That is a... I know what it is. I can't think of a name. That's really cool. Bye-bye, buddy. Put him back before he dies. Bye. That's a nice one. He's pretty. <laughs> That's cool, I did caught a fish. Thank You're you. on it, Corey. You done a whole lot better I than I did. Had. It, it wasn't as the cast that I said I'm about to catch a fish. Mm -hmm. Yep, you had <laughs> like it, Corey. Like two seconds later, I You had were it. on it. You did better than I did. That I was fun. Nothing. Just think now when you get one about like that. Wow. That's, like, that's awesome. That's the second fish I've ever caught. The first fish I oh, ever I caught know. was a catfish. When I saw my pole bend a week or so ago with that car, I about had a heart attack. I'm so excited. Cool, that was fun. I seen you long ago and I forgot one. <laughs> that was fun. Dad says, don't worry about the den hole. You can stand right in front of it. I did and it was fine. What kind of den? That's uh, probably a... Skunk? I hope not. <laughs> I don't know what it is. Nick's trying to get into the pretty water that's up there. It's all on you, Nick. You gotta catch us supper. We might go hungry tonight. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Oh, there was a bite. That was a good bite. Oh, Nick got a bite. I missed him. Nick said that he couldn't borrow another hook from oh. you because it's man code, one hook per day. Oh, and if you, <laughs> you don't get to keep. He said, I can't, he said, I can't ask your dad for another hook. And I said, yes, you could. There's no code that says man code, one hook per day, bless. I'm going to write a book called We Get Low on Hooks Like That. I'll go buy some more. Nick's man code. I want to hear it. Oh, you don't want to. little bitty hooks. I'll put coffee men on there. What are you putting there? On the front, it'll say men only. Men only. Men's club only. I done throw the man code out. I had to get input my hook on it. That's okay. Oh, man. It's pretty, this field that we're in right here. Oh, 
There's so many pretty flowers in this. I think that's fleabane, maybe, a pink variety. There's just lots of different stuff, and then these it flowers. It is. It's fish time, not flower time. <laughs> Katie says it's fish time, not flower time. Do I have this other one? Oh, I thought you said. Take your hat off and use it. I have the next best thing. What? Your face. <laughs> My teeth can dig. Okay. <laughs> 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 All eyes are on you. Don't embarrass us. All right, Katie, don't mess this up. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> yeah. Not real good. I thought I ordered some floats of these trap magnets, but I didn't. Go swimming away. Bye bye. Mm -hmm. What do you have to say? Boom. We're making the outdoor channel yeah. with this stuff. I think that might be a shiner. I think that is a little shiner. Yay! Oh, he got off, but he was a tiny, he looked like a little creek shovel, I think that's what he was. Aww. He had a little baby. He was tiny, he wasn't nothing. We do not know what those tracks are, that is very strange. I wonder if they could be a goose or something. Might be one of the blue heron. Yeah, it could be a blue heron, that's right. That first one that he hit was a bigger fish. Was it? Yeah. Yeah, that first one that night hung down yonder was a bigger fish. Because it bowed this pole over. Poor Katie. I'm right going to see a carp longer than my leg. Just old nasty, gross, and g ugly looking thing come out of here. Wow. Oh, because it'd be fun. I want to see the Loch Ness Monster. I want to yeah. see just old nasty, scaly looking dinosaur carp eating oh, something that's hideous. Mm. <laughs> Nick caught my fish. <laughs> I told you to take it. You said no. I don't want to take it. That's okay. These are real pretty bright red. You got to kiss them goodbye, Katie. Aww. Bye. Cool. Yeah, I'm gonna be back in the morning. So Dad is about to take us to what he says is the good hole. He caught a trout here the other night, and then we actually ate it for lunch. So that's pretty cool. He pointed and said, yeah, you know, the fish come from right there. I mean, it don't hardly get any more local than that. So we're going to go to the best hole there is out of all these holes we fished. Let's see what we can do. Hey Nick, if you can get your line to go right again in the bank up there, I've been getting bites right there like crazy. And you can come up here and fish this hole and let it go down, you don't know, See how that eddy turns and goes right back up through you on it? Yep. I crawled over here on this little island the other day and, and cast it over our end of that. Yep. After I caught that fish. Get me about yeah. I got a little nibble about like what I'm getting now. Yeah, that's cool. A little bit bigger than the other. Yeah. I think it's a little, almost like a little carp. Huh. So this is the other side 
of that hole. So we were just right there. Now here's kind of what the other side looks like. I just thought that would be an interesting view. That rock there, and it, you know, juts out and it kind of backs up. And there's where it really kind of comes over and gains some speed. That's a beautiful hole, no doubt about it. Now you can really appreciate the size of this field. It's, it's pretty big. Pretty big. It's a really little special spot back here. And then it even keeps going on up there until it goes into a much bigger field. I think that last one I caught was probably a baby dog. Okay, you didn't see it. You can watch it back on the video. We didn't really catch nothing but little creek chubs, but we've had a good time. <laughs> Katie says she only caught a bad attitude. We've had a good time though, haven't we? Oh yeah. Anytime fishing is a good time unless you get rattlesnake bit. Unless you get rattlesnake bit. Look how pretty that view is. That's absolutely gorgeous. It's worth the whole trip just to see that pretty view. All right, back to the trucks. No fish for dinner tonight. Maybe next time. <laughs>